is yours, and do with it what you will for the next four hours. Four hours. <laughs> an hour and a half. Uh, so I started late. Yes, well, okay. Um, my new brand. So some of you that uh, uh, some of you that um, saw my LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter messages recognize that I'm about to launch the most unusual brand in the world right now. So thank you for responding to that social media campaign of mine. And my new brand is called Vom. In fact, I've got it registered by Osim. Osim is the, as some of you may know, the, the, the Romanian authority to make sure that brands are not stolen by other people. Right. So uh, I need to point this, I'm sorry, it's, it's got a bit of a line. I've done my homework. Okay, I want you to know I've done my homework over here. And, um, you know, when you do branding, you've got to do research, I'm told. So what I did is I bought uh, Branding for Dummies. That was the first book that I bought on branding. That was sort of limited. Then I, I, wrote, I read free blogs. You know, a lot of people read blogs. They don't know who they're reading about, but it's a good idea. So I read three blogs about branding. And then I, I researched. I did a, a representative sample of 10 people, which is a rep representative sample of your brand. And I asked 10 people, I said, you know, what do you think of my brand? And, they, and it's amazing. They all recognized the word. And they were quick to recognize that this was a good idea. And I have zero competition. So, so far, so good on my branding initiative, the research. And the second thing I need to do, as I mentioned earlier, I've got to get awareness. So when I asked people, I said, when you eat too much just before Easter, and then you really eat a lot, what happens? And they say, vomit. I said, exactly. So that was unprovoked, unprompted awareness. I said, and so when I was prompting them, I said, what, what if you eat so much and you sort of develop this bad feeling and then you sort of come up with some, this is vomit, I said, exactly. So I'm on, I'm on the right track here. I've got about 100% awareness, right? The name, well, it's got to be catchy name, right? So vomit, I think, is a catchy name. Uh, tone of voice, Pantone color. Well, if you go back to my Pantone color, it's a bit of green, it's a bit of yellow. So it's about accurate for what I want to represent. And uh, the client, well, I don't know what the client is. It's number five on my list. I'll find the client. It's not a problem. The four Ps, well, the product, well, it is a product, or it's a service. You could have, like, vomity service, or buy two, get one vomit for free. <laughs> Promotion, well, I'm going to go Twitter. All right, I've done my homework. There's nothing else that's important. Call me radio, that's dead. Twitter's the next best. Next big Facebook, only Twitter. That's my promotion. Price, well, I haven't figured that out yet. The place, well, I guess it's numerous if I'm going to launch this thing first. So, um, and I'm going to launch it big. Believe me, I'm going to launch this big. Uh, where am I? Over here. Okay, no, thank you, excellent. I'm going to launch this big. I'm going to put the brand name on teacups on umbrellas, shirts, buses, X6s, cars, you name it. And I've also signed a contract today to, to get major exposure. Bershka <laughs> <laughs> will take a second place of the moment you will see. Next slide. Now in case you didn't know what vomit was all about, I need to give you a definition which is the brand essence. So to, to throw up or to eject from the stomach, to discharge from the stomach to the mouth. You also have a natural way of looking at vomit, which is a second definition, because in nature, nature has situations where they're throwing up too. For example, a volcano uh, giving away, you know, that hot lava stuff. Next one, Marcella. Now, on the su subject of nature, it's funny. I, had a lot of free time lately, and I noticed some really weird things. I listen to CNN every week, and there's a flood every week. Well, there's a flood in uh, Singapore. There's a flood in Saudi Arabia. There's a flood in sand there, but there's a flood there for some reason. Pakistan, Brazil, 
for lack of a better thinking, yeah, but those countries always have floods, right? <coughs> They're supposed to have floods. Well, um, Lithuania is not exactly Pakistan, is it? Nor is Budapest. Okay. Okay, we're going to think big, right? Australia, probably the fourth largest country in the world, bigger than Canada. They had a flood the size of France and Germany put together. Two billion. Wait a little more second. Or Two billion, or five, how much? Five billion worth of damages. This is serious stuff. That's why I'm not smiling right now. This is very serious. Um, on the topic of what's sad, you're seeing more and more of this happening. And this. Now, okay, well, whales are normal. I guess that's normal if people think that's normal. But now you've got s small fish in China washing up dead fish. Well, look at this in Redondo Beach, California. A million sardines washed up last month. This is a sad picture. Very sad. But that's over there, right? Um, sorry, last summer, remember my The Northwest Passage, north of Canada, was always frozen. Now, five weeks of the year, you can actually travel by boat. Isn't that wonderful? And, uh, well, it's playing on higher temperatures, thinner, thinning ice, record-breaking record breaking ice is melting. The scientists predict that by 2030 there'll be no Arctic ice wall. So, uh, that's a problem. Um, you all know, you've heard polar bears are, are <coughs> becoming extinct. Well, they're becoming extinct because they're drowning. How sad is that? The, the, the polar bear can't stay on the ice and fish because there is no ice crust. So, uh, that's a problem. Next one, next one. Now, the, the, the most important system in the world is, of course, the human body. Sorry, the second most important system in the world is the human body. The first one is uh, the next slide, which is the world. Now, if you don't treat your body well, then you do encourage vomiting. And we're doing the same thing with the world. We're, you know, we're putting too much garbage, too much pollution, too much of this all bad stuff in, in the world. And as a result, ladies and gentlemen, the world is throwing up. All right? And hence my, my brand name. Now, um, this is what's happening. So, in order for me to promote my, isn't that great? I mean, I'm able to promote a really cool brand with a tendency that's going on in the market. You're probably wondering, who is this guy? I came here to listen to a branding presentation. He's talking about polar bears and some really green, ugly stuff. Next slide. Next slide. The world is throwing up. <coughs> Now, what I do as a speaker, I've got a moral obligation to make you aware of this. There's about 80 people in here. Um, maybe you go home, you'll do something about it, maybe you won't. My, my goal in giving back as a, as a communicator is to make you even more aware of this. And I, I'm almost done here. But if we learn to treat the world as we do ourselves, it's all a much better place. You are what I call la relève. You're in your 20s, your 30s. You are the leaders of this country. You are the people that's going to make a difference. You can make a difference. I was reading an article about Damien Gitsa taking on uh, Mr. Uh, uh, help me. Damien Gitsa was taking on... David Tuffman. Yes. Now that's courage. Right? It's like, remember those guys, those little boys in the Vodafone commercial that were playing, having fun? It's like comparing them and saying, come on, Mutu, I can take on. I can take you on. You are part of that group. This is part of the message, and I think what you what you need to do is you need to take action, because Romania is a long, wonderful place. I've lived here for seven years. I love the country, you've got a beautiful country, but you have to preserve it. Next slide. Now, okay, let's go back to a little bit more commercial, right? Why? Well, um, some companies were very proactive. IP was one of them. This is a win-win, right? You don't get free bags anymore. You charge for them, and people get eco and they're happy. So this is one way of doing this. But what I wanted to share with you is on the next slide is uh, how many people recycle here? Oh, I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed. 
I was recycling about three years ago. We'd actually go driving to find these recycling bins. People thought we were crazy. Now, you have two choices, right? If you're going to recycle, like me, you can walk around like a taran, right? <laughs> With your bag and say, okay, I'm going to the recycle bin. They look a little goofy. Either a metro bag or, or a cup full bag or those ugly ones from Mega and Mac. Right? <laughs> or, because I want to give back, I have here the world's first designer recycling bag. <laughs> so, when you put stuff in here, right? Typical recycling. What you do is you can actually hide it. Put it under your arm. Walk along the door box. Like this. And they say, well, there's Paul. Put him on the beach. This bag. No, he might be going to a cafe with his bag, right? But what they don't know is Paul is going to recycle it with my very first world renowned designer. Recycling bag. And the first 30 of you that care about recycling, I encourage you to pick one up before you leave, courtesy of myself and Style and Nature. Style and Nature is a company that supports the environment and supports events. My partner, Maria Andre, who's a stylist and fashion director, and Ina's a stylist, by the way, we decided to go full, no carpet, and decided to create a bag instead of giving you some free cut full bags. We're going <coughs> for you and have fun in the process. Please do two things for me. Okay? I, I discovered this about three months ago and I, I want to kick myself. Al Gore, as you may know, was supposed to be the president, didn't make it. We were stuck for Bush for, Bush for, 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 two, for eight years. But as a result, Al Gore decided to do something about the environment. He's got a really cool video. Take your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your wife, your spouse, and your children. Watch this on YouTube. The kids will like it because there's two cartoons in there. One of them was about the frog that's in the water that's boiling up, and eventually you'll, you'll get the message when you see it. And the other one is about the polar bears. Polar bears are drowning. It's not sad as I was earlier. That was trying to make a point here. But look at this, and in there there's about 10 things you can do for the environment. One of them is, of course, recycling, buying a hybrid car, walking to work, using less electricity, and so on. So, I was joking with you, my brother's not vomit. But I did make many mistakes when I first started here two minutes ago. First of all, I didn't acknowledge Oliver, which is unkind, and as a marketer, and from a client point of view, you should always recognize your client. So Oliver, thank you for that wonderful presentation. Uh, Oliver is, please, pick this guy's brain. He's one of the best people in the business. He and Dorina have got a very good organization here. And they, nobody knows the MBA business like they do. And so thank you for the kind introduction. As you know, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I went right into my topic, which is what most people do for Brandon. And what we're going to do is we're going to do parallel between what I just presented to you and the real stuff now. Okay? 